Um, yeah, I mean, you know, being able to see that play develop from the start. I mean, I know that for us in that dugout, we're excited because we know how good we are at, relay, at relays and, you know, that fundamental part of the game. So, you know, it's exciting to see how this team's going to work and, you know, get an exciting play at the plate. Um, but I have all the confidence in our guys on defense, um, especially for plays like that. And, yeah, that, that, was, that was definitely a fun one to see. Andres, what's, what's the key on a play like that in terms of, you know, is it the, the throw from Tyler in center? Is it, you know, you lining yourself up? I think it's just knowing who's running at first and uh, the, the arm that the, the guy on the outfield picked the ball. So Freeman has a pretty good arm. So I let the ball travel a little bit. And then just trust on the catcher. I mean, he does a tremendous job every time he I throw the ball there and Hedgy as well. So all the confidence on the guys. Shocked on the sack fly. They didn't even make. They didn't even make the attempt to throw home. Um. Yeah. I mean, I was a little shocked on the the no attempt, but I mean, I'm not surprised at the same time because obviously a guy like him with elite speed, you know, um, you know, it's definitely uh, going to be a tough play. But you know, I knew that once I got it up there, you know, I had all the confidence in my guy to make it there. So you know, throw or not, I really just trusted him to to get that done. As, as that at bat develops from the beginning of it to you know the crazy stuff, the Kovac spike the ball in the middle, and and then at the end, how does your approach develop and change throughout that that bat and ultimately what got you Um, I mean, I feel like in a situation like that, regardless of um, you know what's happening around you and you know kind of the craziness, the noise, um, it's really just you know being simple, um, you know trying to be short and make a good swing, um, you know, and also trying to get a good pitch to do that. So, yeah, I mean, I tried to have as little thoughts as possible to just kind of let the game play out. Um, but, yeah, you know, getting him over there to third definitely, uh, you know, made it a lot easier on my part. But, yeah, kind of the, the same thought process, just getting a good pitch and making a good swing on it. And for Andres, your you're at bat obviously it was also kind of weird. Uh, you know, what, did you think the ball that hit you? What was the, the question here when you looked in the dugout? Uh, on that point, you have to check the play just to make sure, you know, when we're hitting, we, we're feeling different teams. So I was I was unsure if the ball hit me or not. But uh, I at the same time, I have to step on the play because the club was coming down. So so to have the result that you did on the very next pitch. I mean, get, just get on base. At, at that point, you, you just have to try to get on base no matter what.